Hi, I'm John Valentino, president of John and Bob's Corporation. Throughout my 35 years in the landscape and gardening industry, I've spent a lot of time trying to figure out ways of improving soil because that's really the key to successful gardening. And we've developed a system that I hope is simple for consumers to use. During those 35 years, unfortunately, I don't think consumers are, are uh, choices have been improved any. The, the choices are complicated ones. There's lots of confusion in the industry and I think home gardeners aren't quite sure what to do. Some home gardeners talk to their friends and they're told to use uh, Epsom salts or beer for mysterious reasons or if you go to a nursery, manufacturers have all kinds of ploys where they have products for every single crop you grow around your house. You know, something for your lawn, something for your tomatoes, something for your roses, something for your fruit trees. And what we're trying to do is take the mystery, take the ploys out of it, make a very simple system that's easy to understand. And the simple part of gardening that I have been focused on for 35 years is that the way to improve soil in every single way is with microbiological life. Those little guys in the soil in the form of beneficial bacteria, fungi, protozoa, good nematodes are magical. That's, what, that's why good compost is so good for soil. Uh, compost changes soil and what we've tried to do is isolate the good parts of compost into very convenient products that you can use. So the fact is that if you had a heavy clay soil and you wanted to change it, the, the simple way to do it, get beyond all the hype and all the magical products, is with microbial life in the soil. Those little guys will change soil faster and more permanently than any other method there is. And if you want to think about growing roses and lawn and fruit trees that don't have pests and diseases, that don't, you don't have fungus in your lawn, you don't have mildew on your roses, you don't have aphid on any of your plants, again, the answer is in the miracle of life in the soil because microbiological life in the soil does things and produces um, plant hormones that allow plants to resist and defeat every pest and disease that's known. Nature has a mechanism and nature's mechanism is life in the soil.